The Nike controversy is still in full swing after they made national anthem kneeling Colin Kaepernick the face of their Just Do It campaign. Many, many Americans are disgusted and incensed by the move. But it's not just sports fans who are making their feelings known over Nike's radical move. Mississippi's Public Safety Commissioner disclosed yesterday that state police will no longer buy Nike products, saying the athletic apparel maker is unpatriotic and fails to support those in uniform. As Commissioner of the Department of Public Safety, I will not support vendors who do not support law enforcement and our military. Commissioner Marshall Fisher said in a statement Saturday to the Associated Press. And Nike isn't helping themselves either here. They claim to be all in on Kaepernick's right to protest, even though it is seen by many as outright hatred for the police, military, first responders and America in general. It's also seen as support for Black Lives Matter who donated $25,000 to a group that openly honors a cop killer. Nike's support, however, does not seem to extend to people who actually support the police and who protest peacefully outside one of their stores located in Arkansas. They had a man who was exercising his constitutional right of free speech arrested. Yet again, another bad PR move. Customers who arrived at the Nike store in West Little Rock, Arkansas were greeted by Jimmy Cavan in the parking lot in front of the store waving a Think Blue Line flag in support of the police. That parking lot belongs to the store owner, so they had every right to warn Cavan and then call the police. That doesn't make it look any better, however, or make it right. The thin blue line flag is a flag that honors police. In fact, I have several shirts I wear with that graphic on them. My priority is supporting law enforcement, firefighters and paramedics, Cavan explained. He got his message out but he wound up chatting with the police over it. Cavan sat in his truck waving his flag and didn't get in anyone's face over it. He did not cause a disturbance or any kind of problem at all. His crime was being in that store's parking lot and doing something the owner did not approve of. That would be like me wearing my thin blue line shirt into a Nike store and them telling me to leave over it. Just saying. Approximately 15 minutes into Cavan's protest, the police showed up to have a word with him. Not cool but predictable. The police were just doing their job. From Fox 16, according to a police report, Cavan showed us, officers showed up after a store manager reported a disturbance. Of course, we chatted, Cavan says. He realized I wasn't doing anything wrong, Cavan says, almost as quickly as they arrived, police left. So, Nike called the police on the guy supporting the police for supporting the police, Cavan says, how ironic that Nike would call the police on someone supporting the police. You just can't make this stuff up. I am not surprised the police left either. Good for them. Cavan said while he doesn't agree with Kaepernick, he supports his right to express himself. Obviously, this Nike store does not return that same sentiment to Cavan. Good to know. Now what better place to wave the flag than right here in front of the Nike store, Jimmy Cavan said on Facebook. It was lunchtime, so they were full and I know people were watching from over there, Cavan said in an interview. I mean, just an ol' redneck sitting on his tailgate waving a flag, Cavan says. When reached, Nike claimed that they support anyone's right to protest peacefully. Really? Because one of your franchise owners obviously doesn't. Cavan is a determined patriot. He's not going to stop because the police were called on him. He is planning on showing up with his flag to support law enforcement as an ongoing endeavor. I usually fly them on my truck too, Cavan says. Cavan has shown up at several different spots in central Arkansas over the years waving different flags in support of law enforcement and first responders. I like this guy's moxie.